Hey John, are you ready for the Give a Pint, Get a Pound campaign for American Red Cross blood donors? Absolutely. Hey Patriots fans, what are you drinking? We're drinking Dunkin'. Go Pat. Ice Dark Roast. Ice with a turbo shot. We're, We're drinking, drinking Dunkin'. Patriots fans in Connecticut, run on Dunkin'. And hundreds of Dunkin' Donuts employees are going to be at the Mohegan Sun Arena today. They're going to be filling 9,000 backpacks with healthy meals for children who are at risk of going hunger. In celebration of Valentine's Day, the company will be giving away boxes filled with half a dozen heart-shaped donuts today. 575 boxes, they're going to be given away, not in the stores, but on the street. Yeah, this is nice. Starting today through May 14th, Dunkin' Donuts will sell a heart-shaped donut that you just saw there. It's designed to highlight the need for more foster parents in Connecticut. The Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins Community Foundation, Gronk made a special appearance at the annual Dunkin' Donuts Lux Bowl at Foxwoods. The Dunkin' Donuts and Baskin Robbins Community Foundation helps communities with food donations and also supports safety and children's health. We're joined by Molly Burt from Dunkin' Donuts. Molly, I can't move in the morning pretty much without my coffee. Is that true for you too, Jim? You know what? We all know this. <laughs> Take Trevor's runs on Dunkin' Donuts. Here and we're going to sample um, the Baskin Robbins mint chocolate chip and butter pecan flavor. Tomorrow is iced coffee day. Iced coffee day. So we, we have uh, our medium iced coffees are on sale tomorrow for 99 cents. And 50 cents of uh, each iced coffee sold uh, is donated to Operation Tribute. Dunkin' Donuts franchisees are very generous, and, and our customers help us be as generous as we can be. And we're looking to raise a lot of money tomorrow to support Operation Tribute. No, this is a very important national holiday today. What is it? National Donut Day. Oh. Friday is National Donut Day. Head into your local Dunkin' Donuts and enjoy a complimentary donut of your choice with any beverage purchase. So to celebrate the occasion, good old Dunkin' Donuts, they say they're going to give a free donut to anyone who buys a beverage. You ready? Cheers. Mm. All of it, like the salty and the sweet, and all It all just comes so together. So good. That is heaven on a bun. Duncan Brands has set in motion a cafe-style store revamp. Now, Duncan Donuts has a big part in this. Yeah, Duncan Donuts is one of our, our sponsors. Oh, it's Scott Fanning, there uh, you go. owner of Duncan Donuts in Deep River. I want to thank him. He's like, like I said, he's like a little business in town, and uh, they're very good about donating to organizations, and we wow. really appreciate that. Uh, we also have a great distinction of having a community partnership with the uh, Veneziano family here who are the Dunkin' Donuts franchisees. And also uh, a little okay. shout out to our friends over at Dunkin' Donuts. They're, uh, they're great uh, supporters of the YMCA. How about these beautiful campers though? Wave everybody, you're on right there. Well, Dunkin' Donuts, we want to put a, do a shout out to Billy Gio, who owns many of the Dunkin' Donuts in our area. And that project, I mean, that's zipping along, huh? Sure it is, it's, it's, it's running on uh, Dunkin' Donuts. Well, and that makes everyone run, I guess, right? That's Tom Brazel is a member of our organization who owns the Dunkin' Donuts, and he's very much involved with all our uh, functions that, that we have. I see a lot of the uh, uh, Dunkin' Donuts is here with uh, Greg Daly's business and Mystic, and uh, everybody's here for community-oriented. I was happy to help out uh, Dunkin' Donuts for 10 years now. They have been giving college scholarships to children, uh, to students in New England. Here in Connecticut today, uh, they gave out 50 scholarships to 50 kids who are going on to higher education. Here they are. Mm. These Dunkin' Donuts are royal munchkins. Take a look. There they are. Yeah. We have them here in studio. Of course, you can see the blue because it is a boy. Well, Dunkin' Donuts is celebrating the sweetness of the royal baby with the royal munchkin. We have some right here and they look so pretty. Well, on behalf of all the Connecticut Dunkin' Donut franchisees, we'd like to present you with $1,000 in cash. Congratulations. Congratulations. Hey, Yukon, what are you drinking? I'm drinking Dunkin'. I run on Dunkin' Ice. A turbo shot for final. Dunkin' all day. Yukon runs on Dunkin' Coffee. Hey, Gino and Kevin, what are you drinking? Medium with cream and sugar. Dunkin' Ice keeps me running. We're drinking Dunkin'! Yukon basketball runs on Dunkin' Coffee. The Southbury Dunkin' Donuts partnered with the American Red Cross, offering a free pound of Dunkin' Donuts coffee to blood donors who showed up at their customer appreciation event. Got your jolt of morning, Joe? Well, today, coffee lovers can get it for free. Today is National Coffee Day, and you can get a free cup of coffee at Dunkin' Donuts if you download their app to your smartphone. You can get a free cup at Dunkin' Donuts, but you have to download Dunkin's smartphone app. Easy in, easy out. It's like a Dunkin' Donuts on Exit 39. Dunkin' Donuts rolling out two new seasonal offerings today, the red velvet latte and the salted caramel hot chocolate.
Well, if you're heading to the Manchester Road Race, don't worry. Dunkin' Donuts will be there. Free samples of hot chocolate, cheer cards, and so much more. Um, we have a lot of great offers in store. So not only can you get the salted caramel hot chocolate, but you can also get um, our hot coffee coupon book, which is new. Um, we had it last year. It's 10 large hot coffees for $15. And I have one special for you, Erica. <gasps> you. What? A gift brigade was in full motion Saturday at a Dunkin' Donuts in Southington. Employees helped load gifts onto an Operation Tribute truck bound for a holiday party at the Groton Naval Base. Dunkin' Donuts stores partnered with Operation Tribute earlier this year to raise $80,000 to buy gifts for children of Connecticut military families.